We just get through this, okay? You know I'm an actor, right? We can use that. Yeah, so use it. Act like someone who wants to sit in this chair and smile. Fine. So what's this camera now? Oh, this is the Mini LF. This big ass camera is a Mini. What's Mini about it? Well, it's a Mini compared to the full-sized LF. And why are we testing the same lenses on this one? Well, it's a different sensor, so it's going to see a wider image circle on the lens, essentially seeing everything this set of lenses has to offer. Uh, is there more resolution? Only ever so slightly less compared to the new Alexa 35, actually. Hmm. Picks up every little imperfection in your skin. What? I'm never getting out of here, am I? You will when we finish testing. Or when I get bored of these lenses. And when will that be? <laughs> Probably never. Um, hold the flashlight still, please. Good flares? Gorgeous flares. Mmm, flares. Hey, what is that? Oh, you don't mind if I have a drink, do you? Wait, do actually? Why are you drinking? Because I'm thirsty. We're trying to work here, Liv. I thought you were a professional. Well, professionals get paid. Hey, I'm paying you an exposure. Am I being exposed right now? Yeah, T2.3, well exposed. You look good. Huh. thanks. It's a very nice lens. So are these all the same brightness? I don't understand the question and I won't respond to it. Well, why do some of them look a little brighter than the others? Oh, that. Well, they're not all the same T-stop wide open. Why is that? Well, they used to be photography lenses. Photography lenses aren't built to have the same stop as a set. Now, what are these T-stops you keep blabbering on about? T-stop? It's one of those exposure things. Is it T-shaped? Yeah, exactly. They're T-shaped. They sit in the camera truck and trainees are generally told to go and grab them. To grab the T-stops? Yeah, it's a tradition. Hmm. Is it on? That's, that's locked, right? Yeah, I mean, it only took you three minutes. Ah, first time putting on a lens. I think I did all right. Yeah, I mean, it hasn't fallen off yet, so that's all right, I guess. Wait, has that lamp been off the whole time? So why does your little Sony camera not look like this? Well, you mean the lens mount? Yes. Well, this one's an LPL mount. It's for high-end work only. Oh, high-end, is it? Right, what do you use your Sony for then? Well, for corporate or broadcast. I mean, it's, it's just not as strong of a mount. Can you use this lens on the Sony? Well, you can't. With an adapter, it's probably fine though. What does LPL stand for? Uh, large PL. And what's PL? PL is, well, it's just PL. You don't know, do you? Hang on one sec, I'll look it up. PL stands for positive lock. How did I not know this? I thought you were a professional. Shush you. Hold it still, please. Okay, new lens is on. It is properly locked, right? Of course it, oh shit. Just kidding, I'm not an idiot. Guess we'll find out. What are these random lights behind me for? For illuminating your pretty face. No, seriously. Oh, you mean the festoons? The fuck is a festoon? The festoons, the, the fairy lights. Oh. Yeah, those are just for bokeh. What are? For bokeh, or bokeh, bokeh, bokeh. Okay, I don't know what that means. Oh, it's really just like out of focus light sources, like what kind of shape they make. Pretty, pretty circles. And this is worth testing, is it? Yeah, it's good to see what shape they make. Ooh, I like that bokeh. That is a nice bokeh. Must be expensive. Oh, Ooh. look at that flare. That's like an extra 500 bucks right there. Yeah, it does look good. Is this the fast lens with the T-stop? No idea what that's supposed to mean, but Yes, this is the fast lens. It looks wider than the last time. Yeah, because we're on the Mini LF this time. Right. Is that a little blurry? 
Well, it's actually fairly sharp wide open. It's just extremely shallow, especially on an LF. Is that a good thing? Well, it can be. It is, how should we say, a bit dreamy. Is this where you choose which eye to focus on? No, this is where you choose which eyelash to focus on. Oh. Do people shoot wide open like this a lot? Yeah, well, I know plenty of DPs that like to shoot wide open for everything. Just ridiculously shallow every shot. Is that a thing? Yeah, just shoot everything wide open and super shallow. Makes it cinematic. I'm getting good at this, hey? Well, it's no longer terrible, let's put it that way. Ooh, look at the flares on this one. That'll be another thousand dollars, thanks. All right, be honest. I look better, don't I? Well, you certainly look like a person. Um, right, how do I do this? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, no, I think, let's, nope. let's swap back. I don't think that's gonna work. Okay. What you doing now? Well, I was just testing a different T-stop that isn't wide open. Do you know that Sarah Connor once shot at T-1000? Is that, is that that alien thing? <sighs> no. No. What does focusing front to back achieve? Well, you see how the edge of frame moves slightly? Yeah. Yeah, it's called breathing. It's showing how much this lens breathes when you pull focus. Is more or less breathing better? Generally less is better, but it's not that big of a deal either way. Uh, must we keep doing close-ups? Yes, because I have to show what each lens looks like at each length from each length from you. Flashlights just to see what the flare looks like, yeah? Yeah. So why not test different kinds of light? Yeah, sure. We can test phone torch, big torch, tungsten light, TV light, lasers. Oh, no, I'm, I was just kidding. I'm not doing that. Yeah, so was I. Do not point a laser into your camera. Ugh. Right, so these like anamorphic lenses. Do you even know what anamorphic lenses are? No. Nah. So what's like, what's like the trend with lenses these days? Well, it's funny you should ask that. I think spherical large format is becoming the new trend. Is it now? Why is that? Well, mini LF and other large format cameras have been out for a few years, so everyone just wants to shoot ultra wide and ultra shallow. It's just not a look that we've, we're not used to it and we haven't been able to get it before with the, uh, with the older cameras. Is vertical video becoming a new trend? My God, I hope not. What about square? That's actually a bit more common. Or 4.3, what with many promos needing to play on Instagram and all. Uh-huh, this is the last lens, right? This is the last Mamiya lens, yes. What is that supposed to mean? You know, we still got the FDs to test, right? Mm. 